also I may or may not have decided to crochet a pair of feather wings. Well, more specifically these wings. I mean, come on, look how pretty it is, how it sits on your shoulders. And the pattern was only eight bucks, plus it was 91 pages long. I'm not kidding. This thing is 91 pages long. Well, I had to make a stop at the local Durant's because I didn't have an H size hook. So there you go, H size hook. Also, I got this red color pencil because uh, Technoblade's um, cape needs to be a darker shade of red. It is here. Oh my god, I didn't expect it to be this big. So instead of just using pure black, I decided to go with like a little bit of a lighter shade and just give it that feather depth. Uh, texture, with a little silver. It actually looks a lot better in the sunlight. I'm gonna outline the feathers with this, and then put the white diamonds, hopefully, with white yarn. But for now, majority of the shawl is gonna be this gray, and then the very top layer will be this black. So, let's see, I'm gonna go ahead and start chaining it and see how it goes. So, even though my friend had her baby, I realized that there was a quarantine period for 40 days before the baby could develop an immune system. So, baby blanket. What baby blanket? I'm doing wings, baby. Oh my god, two hours in, I actually finished one feather. Out of how many feathers? It's looking pretty good. I'm on feather three currently, and that's how it looks like in the sunlight. Eee, I messed up! Bro, I have never been so reliant on a stitch marker before. Play starting feather four. Feather two, feather one right there. Um, it's looking great. It's actually coming along swimmingly well. My only complaint is um, if you do this pattern, don't do the decreases too tight, otherwise, it's gonna curl up like that. Okay, so I'm taking some time from the wing shawl to work on the baby blanket. I know I said I forget the baby blanket, but baby blankie and horsies. Oh, it's very simple. The stitch marker is actually to help you keep track of progress. Like, for example, on this baby blanket, um, the baby blanket, when you do it on the wrong side, you have to purl all the way to the last nine stitches. And I got kind of tired of counting the nine stitches, so put a marker there to let me know when the nine stitches is to start knitting. On the wing one, uh, literally in one row, it switches from half double crochet to single crochet in an instant. So I gotta put a little mark right there, so if I lose track of which stitch I'm on, I just simply start from the marker and go one, two, three, and then I know where I'm at. So they come like in the regular lock so you could easily pull it out of the material. And they also come in this cute little sheep one. Personally, I'm a fan of the little sheep one. <sighs> I'm literally shaking right now. I'm about ready to start crying. So bad news. So I'm looking at the um, this compared to the pictures I have. And unfortunately, the wing does not match the picture on that. Because I can't show you the pattern, obviously, because it's a paid pattern. But, I don't know, I just want to let you guys look at an update. Um, I submitted a picture of the wing so far to the Facebook group. I'm checking to see if it's even supposed to be like that, and I'll, I guess I'll hit you guys with an update. So, bad news. Yes, in fact, I did mess up. And, in fact, I do have to rip all this to the first feather. I'm not going to stop. I will get these wings finished, but I'm just letting you know that all this completely obsolete. I'm starting back on feather one. At least I could take care of all the curls. Still mad, but yeah, we're going to have to restart the wings. So I decided to step away from my pattern and, you know, recollect my thoughts while I gave this little baby Yoda a bike ride before I got right back into it. What are we doing today, Rambo? Who the fuck is Rambo? Because I cannot put it back in the ball, I have to wind it up. So winding up while watching a speed run. Well, that's all the yarn I am done. I'm on feather one. <laughs> she lives. Did I stay up until one o'clock in the morning last night working on this instead of going to sleep at work? Yeah, maybe. Does this shawl now officially have two canonical eyes? Yeah, totally, but look at that. Even the feather tips are all nice and mostly flat. I mean, it's got a little bit of curling, but look at that. It's sitting nice. I love it. Also, I'm still very concerned about why I got 12,000 followers all of a sudden. <laughs> what a glorious cloudy day. It would have been the perfect day to wear my shawl if I had one. I mean, yeah, sure, look at that. My roll is almost empty. I'm almost right to the place where I last left off. <laughs> you think it'd be all swimmingly well, right? 
Eh, wrong. It's not. In fact, things are so bad that I have to rip these four feathers. Let me explain. I actually ripped this whole feather back twice and I counted the stitches. The stitches are correct. My problem is when I went back and reviewed this video. And because I went back and saw that video, I was able to identify my problem. Now, for all my non-crocheter friends, I'm going to be speaking an enchantment table for it. So basically what the video is saying is uh, after you do this stitch, you're supposed to go straight into that stitch. What I did instead was I went back to this stitch. Meaning instead of eliminating this stitch and going forward, I literally stayed back. So that means I have to frog it back. Mercifully, it's only these four feathers. Luckily, I got my feel right here. And the frogging begins. until midnight crocheting this out of spite probably but damn don't it look good now how the hell did I knit two stitches together <laughs> I dropped out of college for this as much as I'd like to continue working on this it is one o'clock in the morning so sleepy time we'll work on this tomorrow when working on a project this big, you just gotta sometimes stop, do like a little bit of bird walking, or right nearby. But anyways, so I finally reached the halfway point on my shawl. So just to give you an idea how big this is, here's my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> and here it is thus far. And while it's turning out to be a pretty long shawl, I have to say I'm actually pretty short at how narrow it is. Like for example, here's the wing shawl, and then here's my knitted Jolly Roger shawl. As you can see, it's like the Jolly Roger shawl is actually slightly longer than the wing shawl. From the widest point of its wings to the halfway point, it's a little bit under 40 inches. And then on the back, about 17 inches wide. But, still looking pretty fantastic. Sorry I haven't posted a video recently. Yeah. Um, I had to spend the weekend taking care of my little cousin. <laughs> Surprisingly, my grandma was a fan of my Filza hoodie. The cape, however, on the other hand. And just when I thought I finally had it done, once again, I've been proven wrong. Oh my god. It's gotten so long that I can't. I put it diagonally, and it's still hanging off of the table. <laughs> it doesn't want to come out of the ball no more. Oh god. Oh, there you go. On today's episode of Jen, you should really be asleep right now instead of doing a video like this, but... I try to lay it out on the couch because this is like the longest surface besides the floor that I have to lay it out on. Still got a couple of feathers missing, but... Bruh. Seeing as I have the full wing on my left side, but incomplete, it's still in tatters. I have to say, I'm pretty accurate to the status animation, aren't I? <laughs> That's a bad joke. Well, as you can clearly see, I was gonna work on my shawl, however, I seem to have lost my hook. I looked through this, I, you know, spread this out multiple times, so my one and only H size hook is somewhere in the house. Great. Found it. I'm, I'm working on the, I'm working on the shawl, chat. Calm yourself. Okay, I guess he didn't want to take that for now. Getting some crocheting done. Well, watch him shoot a potato out of a cannon. And to answer the question, no. 1,090 yards of worsted weight yarn is not enough to finish this damn shawl. Of course, my favorite game to play is to try to figure out which end actually has the tail yarn. Alright, found it. So anyways, remember when I told you that the pattern was 91 pages long originally? Oh, it's been updated. I mean, it's nothing too major. I mean, look, they added cute pictures of ponies. Look at the little ponies. Oh, how cute. Ponies with wings. Also, the pattern is now 134 pages long. But don't worry, if you just want the text-only portion of the pattern, it's only 51 pages long, so... Yeah, it still uses a size H hook though. Now, of course, don't take it the wrong way. Don't think of it as gonna be more complicated. In fact, if anything, it's actually a lot more easier. You know, I actually wish I had that addition when I first started the pattern. It probably would have saved me the three days of frogging, but you know. If you're still on the fence about doing the pattern, I say go for it because I haven't 
crocheted anything since five years ago, and look, here I am crocheting, so go ahead. Also, if you have a rivalry account, please do me a solid. I feel my project. Well, I had to do it, because I literally have no place to put it. That's the shawl right now, boy, and it's seven feet long. I measured it too. And I'm done with panel one out of three. Uh, well, time to get started on panel two. Bro, it is criminal how fast I'm going with it. So here's panel one, and it's not done yet, but this is going to be what panel two looks like over it. Very nice. I'm not sure where this blue came from, but here, friend, have some blue. Remember to eat good, kids. Never mind that soda sitting right over there. Yeah, totally not at the local Kinko's. Printing. If it's not frogging, apparently it's uh, running out of paper. Late rent notice. <laughs> Oops. Oh, okay, there we go. That's, now it's printing out my pattern. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be out of town for tomorrow and, well, maybe by the time I post this today. I'm going to be out of town. I don't want to be relying on my phone, so that's why I'm printing the pattern out. <laughs> oh my god, it's so thick. And unfortunately, I haven't made much progress. I mean, I'm slowly getting to the very center of the small second panel. But, you know, work and real life not in the way. So hopefully, I'll get this done over the weekend. Looking good. How fitting. <laughs> that it's in here. Yeah, I don't want it. Bruh! What do you want? I'm getting quite there. I mean, this is what panel two looks like so far on panel one. Just barely made it past the halfway point. So I went to the local Joanne's and I got two new blocks. You know, as you can see. Because uh, I'd rather be tying my yard once rather than tying all these scrap yards together because I'm not about that scrap yard in your life. At least, not yet. Kind of getting there, kind of close. There's the halfway center. I just need to put the little last, I think, ten feathers on this. Finished. This song is painfully fitting for what happened today. Yeah, I heard about the news. It sucked, but I'm still giving my best wishes that they sort this whole pizza situation out. Yeah, chat. No, I promise. I'm working on it. I'm just getting a few stuff. How? How do they not have a size? I they have the size H, but not a size I. Why? Okay, yes, yeah, fine. I do have a size I, but as you can see, it's the all metal one and not this nice soft touch one. Because there is no way in hell I am outlining 78 feathers with that. So anyways, I'm literally going through craft store to craft store looking for a size I. But, like, literally none of the crafts are. It's like, I hope so. What pattern? Besides the wing shawl pattern is more popular that I can't find a size that it's like all of Southern California does not have a size I hook. I just don't get it. Joanne said they had one, but I had determined that to be a lie. So I had to go to the Michaels right next to my work the next day. Thank you for choosing us. We can't wait to see what you make. Have fun. <laughs> yep, here it is. I spent 80 bucks for this. And no wonder why they didn't have it in I. It's a green color. I like green. Finally, after one full bloody week. I got panel two done. Man, dude, that looks pog. Of course, seeing panel two with panel one, you think that my shawl's complete, right? <laughs> it's wrong. Time for round three. Oh my God, look at how depressingly deflated this ball of yarn is. My goodness. Yeah, Jen, so uh, remember last night when you were so confident that yeah, you'll finish these last two feathers that you um, stayed up until one o'clock last night to finish them? It's 7 o'clock. My work starts at 7.30. I'm an hour and a half drive away from Hmm. 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 And for those wondering, no, the uh, second panel has not been attached to the first panel yet. In fact, you can see I could easily take it off. And the reason why is, once I'm done with the third panel, I'm going to go back with like silver yarn and outline every one of these little feathers so that way at a distance you can see a clear feather definition. Also, speaking of the third panel, I just barely started panel three today and I'm almost to the halfway point. It's criminal how fast I'm blazing through that, but damn. Well, 
Look at that, bro. That looks nice. Now, ignoring the fact that I look like the Witch of the Waste and Howl's Moving Castle, I have to say, it actually looks pretty awesome. It's kind of like a weird, um, sleeveless cardigan is the best way I could describe it. Let me flap my wings, and hopefully I'll get a better picture of it in the next update. <laughs> Yeah, you don't have any fireworks. No. Mm, still haven't finished the third pound. It looks pretty good. Yep. 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 Finally, I am literally on the last feather of this shawl. Oh, boys. I did it. <laughs> There's the blading shawl. All three pieces. Too bad they're not pinned together. Now you're all thinking, oh my god, Jen, you, fi you did it. You finally finished all three panels. This means that your Phil's and Wings journey has surely come to an end, right? Right? Time to start outlining it. Oh, so <laughs> So in order for me to start outlining the feather, I have to actually do this one panel at a time. And probably should have started with the first, uh, third panel, but this time it's personal. I'm facing my damn nemesis. Oh, yeah, Unity. <laughs> Something that these shawls won't see for a long time. In order to outline, I have to start from the top right, go all the way along the original chain, literally outline all these stinking feathers until I go right back up to the upper right corner. Three times. Uh, and how exactly do you find the um, pull center of the arm? Easy. You make it part. As you can see, I have my damn shawl right there ready to be crocheted. I literally almost started crocheting with my H hook. And the whole reason why I went on that whole Southern California adventure was for this. God. Okay, now I finally have the right hook. So even though I'm currently on feather 10, like about the second or third feather in, I realized that I'm giving my Phil's uh, wing shawl literally Ender Dragon vibes. Here, I'll show you. So this is where the shawl currently is at. And here's Gene the Ender Dragon. Show you what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in a sense of way, I guess it makes sense considering the fact that the only place in the game you can get an Electra is the end, so... Yeah, it would actually make sense for your feather wings to look like, I don't know, an ender dragon? We're still working on panel one for the outlining, but this is what it looks like. I'm planning on outlining that one and that one, and then I'm just going to leave that one alone. Just like do like a basic outline, I don't know, either the black or the heather gray. I haven't decided yet, but that's the wing so far. This side, with all the little uh, outline, it actually helps stabilize the wing better. So, versus this side, it's just flat. It just doesn't want to hold the shape. Okay, I have to admit, it actually wasn't as painful as I thought it was going to be. But there's panel number one, all outlined. And I know we got a couple of feathers curling here, but I'm hoping that it would be blocked out properly. But yeah, it's a lot of feather. But of course you know what this means, right? Time to get started on panel two. Hey, look, I have my Technoblade right here. Man, nothing beats my morning than drinking coffee from my favorite haunted mansion cup. Once again, I am moving at a speed that is faster than the speed of light, and that is pure spite and a cup of coffee. Because look at this, I am literally already at the halfway point of shawl number two. <laughs> I am at the halfway point of shawl number two. And then here it is with the third panel on top. Now, I'm only going to be doing like the basic outline. I'm not going to go in between all the feathers for that third panel just to stabilize it. Ah, that's the Halloween look so far. <laughs> Man, I am an absolute maniac. Do not look at the Joannes. Do 
Do not look at the Joanne. Look, I go to Joanne's to get some pins so I could start blocking my shawl. Instead, not only did I walk out with pins, I walked out with some red fabric. Uh. Of course, in order to block my shawl out, I actually need to soak it first with that bucket. Mm, mm. Miss, uh, Mrs. Spider? Yeah, Mrs. Spider? Yeah, yes, hi, Miss Black Widow. I, I, I kind of need that that bucket. If, if uh, hmm, okay. Yeah, on second thought, she could keep the bucket. I, I'm, I'm not even gonna bother. Well, I was gonna use my blue bucket, but since a Black Widow spider decided to make its home with it, I have to use the white bucket that was in the my fish tank. See, well, since weighing it currently is a complete fail, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna wash this baby. Just a few drops of hand soap. I don't know, judging by the amount of bubbles coming out, maybe I might have put a little too much soap. Oops, I forgot to take the stitch marker out of that poor thing. Oh, goodness. Bro, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is so bleeding heavy. As you can see by how much water is like literally pouring off of this thing. I have to actually let it dry just a bit so it's damp enough before I could even attempt to pin it. So many different options. Should I go with these gray ones? Or should I be the uh, immature adult that I am and go with the rainbow ones? Hmm. Okay, yeah. I'm, I decided to become a responsible, boring adult and decided to get rage and mats. No rainbow color ones. Oh, look at this nice box of pins. I can't wait for it to become a box of biohazard. <sighs> Time to start pinning it. Well, because I'm too much of a coward to uh, be sticking my finger in a box hoping to get poked, I did the most reasonable thing, and that was just dump them out on the map. Whew, finally, after nearly half an hour later, I finally pinned this sucker down. Now I just gotta wait until tomorrow morning to see if it actually works. Heh. <laughs> I wish. This thing is so light that it's not even registered. Yep, this is it. This is my life. I literally live here. <sighs> Late nights, all I think about is you. Late nights in the middle of June. This is really a cruel, cruel joke. Let's be honest, there is no secret to what I'm making next. In the words of Technoblade, who called the police? Oh, damn, it's loud. Oh yeah, he's loud. Is he flying over us? Yep, oh, yep, there he goes. There he is. So it's morning of the next day. Um, it's coming along pretty good. Feeling the tips, they feel a little bit damp. Not quite like soaping wet like it was last night, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll check back on it after work. Alrighty, finally finished shawl number two, but oh my goodness, this thing is curling up like crazy. Time to wash. Well, not as heavy as the first shawl, but it's still pretty freaking heavy. I gotta wait for this wing to slightly dry before I can pin it up. So I'm going around the edge of the shawl, just kind of like moving these pins to the side and. It looks like it's mostly, I'm pretty sure it's still going to curl up, but for the most part, it's actually laying pretty flat. Also, those wondering how long this shawl ended up being, there's the seven foot mark. It's almost eight feet long. And I finally finished pitting the second shawl down. Oh, goodness. I do apologize for doing this off camera, but I got panel three done. Judging by how much it's already shrinking when I pull the needles out, I have a feeling that the curls are not gonna uh, see. Yeah, there we go. Just as I thought, some curling here and there. Nothing too drastically major, but that. Ooh, I'm out of breath because I dragged this downstairs. That is how the shawl currently looks. Panel three is upstairs, blocking. Right so clearly as of me recording it, it's the 17th on Monday. I actually have not taken this off of the map since Thursday. And the reason why is I know this is going to curl up. So take this off. You're making me, you're making me look bad. Uh, so as you can see, it's starting to curl up a bit. I'm, I'm afraid to take that feather off because that's the more feather that actually curls up the most and you know since I'm a perfectionist 
I have no idea why I do these things. So as you can see, his wings look a little bit bare. I mean, just black feathers with the gray. So I decided to add the little diamonds, like how he has on his little jacket. So, time to start adding diamonds. Well, that was fab. Of course, I have to tuck in every one of these tails. All 16 of them. Back when I was younger, it was, oh, you could summon Herobrine like this. Now these days, it's, Oh, you can summon the Ender Dragon by making it into a T-shape and put the Ender Dragon head on top of it. So I got my little little to have worth of uh, little triangles for the shot. Trying to weave in the ends of my little crochet hooks so that way it looks a little bit neater. Kind of like this. But obviously, it's taking me a while. A long while. Trying to finish all 16 triangles. So I got my little fills that have full of little triangles I'm going to make it to diamond. I got my first panel of the shawl wing right here. And I got this heckin' big needle. I think it's time to sew, you guys! And literally, through some kind of divine freaking power, I already lost one of the damn triangles. How? And there's one little um, round diamond. I don't mind. It looks adorable. Seven more diamonds to get. Okay, so I'm still working on adding the diamonds. For some reason, I still can't find that 16th diamond. But I was looking on this side, so I got the four already sewn down. I think I'm gonna add one more diamond right here. So while I'm busy making that 16th one, I'm gonna go ahead and make another pair of diamonds for that one. Triangles right here for that one. So. Almost done, boy. Yeah, the more I look at this shawl, the more I realize that I'm gonna have to stain this guy. But in order for me to stain block this shawl, I gotta first remove this off the mat. Oh boy. Still got his curls even after I rag the fabric like that. I don't know. 19 bombs and pins on the mat. 19 bombs and pins. You take one down and you put it right up. 19. Now 20 bombs and pins on the mat. And in case anybody's wondering why I just solely put the diamonds on the primary feathers instead of the secondary feathers, well, when you put the second panel on top, you really have no space to put any more diamonds. So, yeah, primary ones are getting the diamonds. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, I lied! So for the second panel, even though I'm not going to add any embellishment per se, like the third and the first panel, I am however going to be tying like these little embroidery threads like in each of the four feathers. So I got this pink one for Technoblade, this blue one for Ghostbird, the silver and gray one for Rambo, and of course red. For Tommy, because, you know, Tommy in it. I actually like it. The thing I like about Rambo's is that it's the same thread, except this one is like the dark purple, and this one's the white thread. I finally finished the little embroidery that I put on the wing, so there's just only eight feathers. So there's four right there, there's four right there. It's kind of like peeking out from underneath. It goes all the way up to the main shaft, but. I actually like the little color. Gives it a nice detail. So I decided that I'm going to wear my shawl kind of like a little bit of a cape style, so I like this little gold rope that I'm going to attach the, um, the piece in the front, these tassels, and these little hearts to represent the clasp. I think it's going to look cute. Like this, I know it's supposed to be a button knot, but come on, this knot looks pretty cool the way how it is. So um, it was supposed to be like a diamond head knot, but um, I actually like the way how it looks like a little heart, so... 
I'm not that upset with it. So now here's the clasp on the wings. I still gotta adjust the size because I feel like it's a little bit too long. It should probably be a little bit shorter, like about yay big. Also, I'm not sure if I should put like a little red embellishment like this on that side. Probably. Just so it looks a little bit cleaner, but yeah, it's actually coming along pretty good. Well, I've been putting it off for far too long, so it's time to get over with it. Yeah, so... It's not going to be enough to sew the top part. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, look at that. It's Kisuke Urahara with Yoriichi. Or at least... Kisuke's trying to get Yoriichi to play, but she's uh, uninterested in it, right? Her. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I hate sewing. I really hate sewing, and this bloody thing weighs like a ton on my lap. Ugh, good grief. Of course, I've still got some ends to weave in, and all these threads here and there. But, you know, I actually got one of the little heart clasps on. I think it's looking a little bit pogs, bro. Yeah. You know, it's actually a pretty nice day today. Um, sun is shining. I got my coffee right here. I think I'm about ready to finish my shawl, actually. But first... So I'm doing a test fit of how the shawl looks currently, and I actually had the shawl tied all the way down here, you can tell by the tail, but... I noticed that it's making the fabric... kinda like, puff out like that instead of laying flat, so I think I'm gonna have to actually go through... Uh, just grab, like, this yarn and just pull it up to where I have... the, um... that shawl currently in it, so... That actually looks pretty cool thus far. I actually undid the thread just a little bit. It's still tied up right, you know, right there. But yeah, it actually sits heck of a lot better on its main. So now I've got to do the other side. Little tassel, look at that. Little colored little diamond wing. I made this. I made this. I made this. I made this. I'm. It's got like it's a little gold. I mean, I still have to put the little heart on here, but look at that. It's got a little heart, little tassel. Look at that. Little colored, little diamond wing. I made this. I made this. I made this. I made this. I was like literally this close. This close. I'm actually touching my fingertips together. I was this close to giving up, but I made this. I fucking made this is so fucking fuck, bro. I I even did a little all the diamonds. I did the little heart. This took me a while. It took me like five tries just to get the little lines in right. I fucking made it. it's beautiful. It's fucking it it it's fucking definitely a cloak. It is definitely a cloak fitting for an immortal fucking well-known being. As the character that fills the Minecraft is. It just... Uh, it's so fucking bog. Yeah, it's the sound of the crow. Sound of the crow. And that means... It is done, darling. Look at that. Look at how nice and lovely my shawl is. Oh my god. No, for real. I am insanely proud with like, look, see, I got the little tassel with the little golden clasps on it. I have like little embroidery threads, the little hardcore heart. Sorry, you're gonna have to tilt the phone because that's the only way I could get this full shawl. Dude, it looks super pogs. I, I, I made this. Yeah, okay. I made this. That looks pretty cool.